can find it at dicks dicks clicks dicks <laughs> wow uh, hey everyone welcome back to the channel as you can see it's another video in the same setup because you know the story about that whole thing so we're not even gonna get into the whole beauty room story but i'm here and i kind of figured that uh because i'm here let me do a uh, collective beauty review because I haven't really done one in a really really long time and I kind of figured that it might be a good idea to do so so if you guys would like to see what kind of beauty products and a little bit of skincare products that I'll be reviewing then definitely do keep watching so I've got everything in a box right here and we're gonna go through everything one by one um, just a little note some of these things I've used before but I haven't reviewed on the channel and I kind of feel that you know it would be a good thing for me to review it because I want to share the things that I like and I want to share the things that I dislike but to be honest, most of the things, pretty much all of the things that are in here are things that I've really, really loved. I've either used before, haven't reviewed them on here, or uh, they're completely new to me and yeah, I've been using them for some time. So let's get into this video because I feel like I'm rambling and it's something that I'm very, very good at. So, okay. So the first thing is this. This is the Rimmel London brow this way brow styling gel now i've spoken about this in probably a video back then some way i'm trying to get comfortable okay uh you know when you're sitting on the floor girl bye um i've spoken about this probably in a video somewhere back then but touched on it a little bit this is the one brow gel that i've continuously used ever since i started buying brow gels i tried the essence one i have love i have love 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 for the bobby brown one it's it's another uh brow gel that i used to use in mahogany it's a really good one but in terms of cost effective and price because if you live in south africa right now you know that it's it's tough right now it's tough so most of the things that i've got here are um uh, lower end products which I want us all to share because I feel like if I can afford them the lower end You can afford them as well, you know makes things easier for all of us everybody involved But this is the Rimmel um, Brothers way brow styling gel and it pretty much comes in a wand that looks like a mascara wand It is amazing. It's a clear gel and I just normally top it up after um, Applying my makeup. I just sort of I'm looking at the viewfinder. I just top it up and it keeps your brows put the whole day as somebody who wears makeup every single day listen trust this keeps your brows put the whole day it styles them really well makes them look natural and like there's not too much cakiness in terms of the product that's in there it's a really 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 good um what's this product and i definitely suggest and recommend that you try it i absolutely love it and then you know when it comes to liquid lipsticks, liquid lipsticks tend to be on uh, a little bit of a pricier side as opposed to um, lipsticks or what have you. Listen, the lip lingerie collection from NYX is definitely something you might want to jump on if you're looking onto buying uh, liquid lipsticks and you want to try out liquid lipsticks because I love liquid lipsticks. They stay on, they stay on all day, and I've got a liquid lipstick on right now, and it's from the NYX, NYX um, Liquid Lingerie Collection, and this is in Ruffle Trim. Ruffle Trim. It is such a beautiful color. It's more on the coral. It's a nude color, but it's more on the orangey side as opposed to um, the, what's this, the pink side. Absolutely love this. I think it's a really, really great product. I think the, Nick, the NYX Lip Lingerie, it's, it's like such a tongue twister. The NYX Lip Lingerie Collection is a really, really, really great collection of liquid lipsticks that you can try out that are really nicely priced, that have got a ton of colors from everything red, purple, uh, nude, uh, cheese, uh, the dark colors. Listen, definitely worth a try. Absolutely love them. I've got a few of these, geez, maybe 10, and that doesn't even dent the collection that they have. So definitely try these ones out if you're a big fan of um, uh, liquid lipsticks. Yeah. Okay. 
a highlight that i really like and i don't remember talking about in one of my collective beauty reviews is the uh it is so janky it's so dirty but i use it all the time so it's fine uh this is the maybelline master chrome metallic highlighter and the color that i've got here is zero no 100 which is molten gold yeah and that's what it looks like that is the highlight that i've got on today i don't know if you can tell but i love it i think it is a great highlight as an everyday highlight you can make it really strong you can make it pop uh you can make it really really light and not come off too much but you know if you tilt your head to the side a little bit it can come off like today i use it really really lightly on my skin i absolutely love 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 this highlighter um I've recommended it to all my friends who are on a budget and they're like, you know what, I need a really nice highlighter. Definitely. Well, I'm, I'm not much of a fan of powder highlighters anymore. I started off with them and then I, I was introduced to cream highlighters and I was like, oh, what? but i actually really really like this one um it's one of the few highlighters that i absolutely love and definitely think you should try it out you can find it at dicks dicks clicks dicks <laughs> wow um clicks and disc game stores the eye palette that i really love as an everyday eye palette and an eye palette that i can carry with me listen this eye palette has taken me by like just shookness is that a thing it's just literally taking me aback i was not when i picked it up i just i was like okay i like the colors so let me pick it up this is the nyx lid lingerie palette and i have it on my eyes today they're all matte colors all of them are matte colors and i absolutely love it this is a um eyeshadow palette that i use every day when i go to work sometimes i'll just pop one color on there pop one color on there on a different day sometimes i use two colors like today i've used this color here and that i i seem to really really love rustic sort of orange sort of burnt orange colors i love them and this is a perfect palette for somebody who just you know you you want something quick and easy for an everyday look but you can play around with the colors and mix them around you can use one color you can use two you can use three and actually make a really really decent eye look with it um the pigmentation is absolutely amazing i've got it on my eyes today the pigmentation is great it's not um incredible but it's great if you know how to use eyeshadow you will suffice it's really great even for for um beginners you will suffice it's really really uh, great in terms of pigmentation and it's got a lilac -y color here that i really like as well which i think would be nice as a lid color like it's just a really really pretty pretty just compact easy take with me on a weekend trip and have eye looks for days kind of palette so and next is a concealer now this concealer i bought a while back i put up an instagram post uh inserting this concealer in it and this is the mac studio fix 24 hour smooth wear concealer this is the concealer that i've got here under here today uh obviously topped it off with uh, some sasha buttercup to set the concealer but it's a really nice one a little bit more on the orange side as opposed to my maybelline um fit me concealer and my shade in that one i think is 40 the one that i use under my eyes this one is a little bit more on the orange side so it's great if i just want to highlight that area but if i need it to be a little bit bit more lighter i mix it with the maybelline one and it works fine the one thing that i like is that that maybelline one is not a full coverage concealer this full coverage does the most much like the studio fix foundation does it covers up everything and it's a really really great one for that if you're somebody who's looking to try out a new concealer this glass mm. If you're somebody who's looking to try out a new concealer definitely definitely recommend this one i liked it um i liked it more than the bobby brown concealer that i bought recently and yeah this one definitely well worth a mention okay. lost on the makeup front is another maybelline listen i think for me when it comes to lower end uh, makeup brands that i really love i gravitate a lot to maybelline and nyx i feel like they do a wonderful job when it comes to um what's this um 
beauty products uh, as opposed to the other ones but maybe it's because I haven't tried much of the products from the other brands as well I'm willing to do so but I definitely Maybelline and NYX never seem to disappoint for me um, and the last thing is this one which I featured in a get ready with me recently this is the Maybelline master prime illuminating primer the reason why I bought an illuminating primer is because my skin is going through a period where it's dull and boring and not bright and light and just full of life. So I prefer illuminating primers when I see that my skin just needs a little bit of a lift and it does work. It's sort of, um, it leaves you with a really nice illuminating sheen and when you apply your, um, foundation and all that jazz you make up it sort of comes through as well so i really really like that um it's a really really nice i can't i can't say it's fantastic out of this world there's different ones i know there's a green one and i know there's a blue one as well but it works it does the job for me and yeah it says number with micro pearls it does have a little bit of a sheen to it like i said uh this one just says number 20 so definitely try it out if you're looking for an illuminating primer if you feel like your skin is sort of looking dull and tired sila sila and then um you guys know i went to a payo event recently and after i got this product i definitely wanted to try it out you saw the vlog if you haven't seen the vlog i'll link it down below this is the payo blue technilis um night cream it is a amazing cream first and foremost it smells like i haven't even dented it i literally used just a little bit of it uh first and foremost it smells like heaven in a bottle it smells like perfume but not sickening perfume it smells really really nice and refreshing but the amazing thing about this is when you apply it onto your skin it looks like a gel but the moment you rub it in it becomes an oil it is crazy how nice this product is i use it every single night when i'm here at home and have access to it i don't carry it around with me all the time <clears throat> i kind of feel like i'm getting sick I don't carry it around with me all the time, but when I'm here at home, I definitely use it every single night after I take off my makeup and maybe I come from the gym and I take a shower and I use this. It is nice. It makes my skin feel very soft, supple and smooth, especially when I wake up in the morning as well. It just does the most. I think I need to drink water. My, <clears throat> my voice is doing the most, but it is a great product i highly recommend i've been using this maybe um for about three weeks now not every single night as i say because some nights i'm not at home but it's a really 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 good product that i recommend it's got a very nice uh ocean sort of blue color on the inside as you can see isn't that beautiful oh my god absolutely love it absolutely love it and then lastly because i was talking about dull looking and tired skin this is my go-to product when i talk about dull and tired and skin that just needs to be rejuvenated and revived this is the keels daily reviving concentrate now i've probably over the lifespan of me knowing this product i've probably maybe bought about three or four bottles of these um this is a new one and i definitely gravitate towards this especially in times where my skin is looking dull and tired and not bright and you know this has concentrates of ginger root in it and sunflower oils to help correct the uh, visible appearance of skin fatigue which is probably what causes skin to look dull and tired and what have you and it works really really well i apply this on in the mornings and not at night i apply it on in the mornings after i jump out of the shower and while i'm doing my skincare routine before i put my makeup on definitely a great product well worth a mention i think a lot of the time people seem to have loved the um, the midnight recovery concentrate which i'm also a really big fan of the midnight recovery concentrate but i absolutely love this one i think this is the one that just sort of has shied away to the side but is actually a really really good product so if you are you know struggling from tired dull uh looking skin which is me without makeup on um definitely recommend that you try this one out i love it i love it all right
so that's pretty much it from me for this video i hope you guys enjoyed the video i am gonna go now because i have a tag to record and i'll see you in the next one Bye.